Hey everyone, Warden of the North here, and today what I want to go over is two really easy and simple uh, settings that you can set in DaVinci Resolve, your video editor. If you're doing video editing, if you're doing uh, DCS uh, cinematics or tutorials or anything like that, and when I learned it, I thought it was really, really cool. So, um, full disclaimer, I've been making a DCS cinematic for my niece, who's five years old, and she's uh you know she wanted to see some planes and she wanted to name the plane and she wanted to pick the colors and everything so uh so i decided to make a video for her so in doing that i learned two really really cool things to make your life easier when you're doing davinci resolve and also to make your videos pop with one very very simple adjustment so first thing we want to do is we have davinci resolve here this is an untitled project. It's It's got the default settings. So nothing's been set. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that our resolution is uh, is where it wants to be. So my resolution is 2560 by 1080. So I've already set that in another project. And what I want to do is I want to have that exact same setting in this project to start. Okay, so uh, what we can do is we can go up here to, I think it's file uh and we we're looking for project manager so yeah right here project manager and then this is the one that i've been working on so what i'll do is i'll right click on this one this is by the way this is your list this is all the projects that i've had so uh this is the one that i've been working on and what i want to do here is where load project settings to current project right here so i'll left click on this It'll say override, do you want to cancel or override? I want to override because I want to load those settings. So override, and there we go. So that's done, we can close this. Now this project, this untitled project that we've got here is going to um, render, render the video in the settings that I made for the other project, which is exactly what I want. So, uh, and it also saves me a lot of time and effort and hassle in testing because the project settings are it, it's a bit of a nightmare especially when you're first getting into this like i'm just getting into this and it's a little overwhelming but the more i'm learning um the more i'm enjoying it so it's really cool so now what we're going to do is we're going to put in a, um, a video clip so let's go import media let's go with this one this one right here that's a really cool video clip um and we'll put it into the timeline right here. And actually, you know what we'll do is we'll edit it. We'll edit it real quick. So we'll just put it in here. This is the editing screen right here. This is the kind of like the final screen. So this is like rough draft over here on the left. And on the right, this is final draft. Think of it that way. So anyways, um, this is what I have so far. So I've got all this mumbo jumbo, which I really don't want. So what I can do is I can play it and then get to the part that I want. As soon as everything disappears, bang. Okay, so I can right click on this, mark in. That's, that's the start of the clip. And actually, you know what? Let's back it off a little bit. Kind of like the whole thing. There we go. So here, mark in. Nope. You know what? We'll have to delete this mark here. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Remove selected markers. Remove all markers. Okay. Bring this all the way to the beginning. Okay, so where are we going to do it? So right here. Right about there. Okay, great. So right click over here. Mark in. Da, da, da. We want to get the sun. Yay, the sun! All right. So we'll end the clip here. We'll mark out. So we'll right click on the uh, I don't know little cursor here. Mark out. And then we're going to right click in the middle of the clip. And we're going to go create subclip. We can call it uh, sun and fun. Okay. And we'll create it okay and then we'll take this out because this was the raw footage so we'll put sun and fun in here bang got it right there 
Alright, so now it just plays. Bah. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I know it is. Oh, I know you love it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yes, tasty. Alright, now, um, here is the really cool part. The uh, To make the video, to make the, the whole thing pop. So we're going to go into this area here. It's called, I don't know if it's going to label it here. It's called Fusion. All right. It's basically Fusion. All right. So, oh, no, no, we're not going to go into Fusion. We are going to go into this. This is color grading. This is where we're going to make the video pop. Okay. Very simple setting. And I look for this whenever I, uh, whenever I, I, um, I get a new game. I'm always looking to make it look a little bit richer, make the colors just a little bit richer. And what you have here is right here, this little slider, think of this as a wheel, like as a mouse wheel, but it's mounted horizontally instead of vertically. And this is your saturation wheel. All right, so you saturate things up or down, make it rich, make it pop. You do that. All right. Oh, wait, no, no, no. That's not it there. So, sorry, I was adjusting the gain. So the gain, really don't want to touch that. I don't know exactly what it is, and I'm still learning. So let's, you can reset it by just doing this kind of like rewind thing right here. All right, so it's back to one all across. Saturation is down here. What you have to do is you have to put your mouse cursor over the number, which is at 50, that's default. Left click, you hold down that mouse button. So left click, hold it down, and you can move it up. Now look at how things get richer. The colors get richer, everything gets more vibrant, and that's with one simple setting, one simple setting. Okay, so I had mine, I set mine for the video that I was making, I set it to 61, which was really cool, but you can set it, like if you wanna make it really colorful and really rich, you can put it at 99, you can put it at 100, 99. That's actually not too bad. It's a little too much for me, I prefer it out there just to make it you know just to make it realistic and that's pretty much it so that's how you make your video pop it's one simple setting and it's so easy and it makes things look so so good and you can change that for every scene that you have okay so in your timeline let's go back to your editing uh, the editing uh, button right here okay in my timeline I have it right here and bang, now that I've done it, I have it and I can play it. Oh, look. It looks so cool. Yeah, all right. Mm, yeah, okay. Now, just for shits and giggles, let's bring it up to 100. And then let's go back to editing, editing and check it out. So this is, this is your stock, okay? Check it out here. Rough draft. See that? Huge difference between what you have on the left and what you have on the right. And then here's our final draft. That looks pretty good. I'm actually, I actually like that. That's like. I don't know if that's full saturation, but whatever it is, it looks pretty damn good. I'd back it off a little bit, but uh, anyways, that's how you do it. It's so simple, it's so easy, and uh, it really it made my it makes my life easier, and uh, it makes it more convenient. Now I know where to go if I want to make my colors look a little bit better or something like that. And uh, from there, I'm just basically going to do, going forward, I'm just going to do the same thing that I would recommend to you guys. If you get into this, play around with it. Um, and don't overwhelm yourself with it. Don't, uh, don't dedicate, you know, an hour, two hours, or three hours to it. Dedicate whatever time you feel, you feel like, uh, like dedicating to projects like this. Uh, one thing I'm learning about this is that um, it's very, very, how do you say it? It's, it's uh, for me, it's time consuming because I'm a perfectionist. So when I make these videos, I want to make them look good. And then I go and I see other videos from other content creators. And I want to make my videos look even better. So it's almost an ongoing process of going back to the video, editing this, tweaking this, making this look better. And, uh, and I like it because in the end, I think it's going to make uh, better video content. 
So anyways, that's it for now. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Comment, share, like, subscribe, and do all that stuff. Ciao for now.